Hello friends, in this video we will be talking about the transport of phosphoenyl pyruvate and oxaloacetate from the mitochondrion to the cytosol. Because what we know is that this oxaloacetate, uh, the mitochondrial membrane does not have any uh, oxaloacetate transporter into it. So we need to convert this oxaloacetate into other product, in this case which is malate, and then we need to transfer this malate out of this mitochondria and in the cytosol. Then malate is reconverted into oxaloacetate to, to do rest of the reactions, then finally it, it will again be converted into something else for converting it, uh, for taking it inside the mitochondria. Okay. Oxaloacetate, an important precursor for gluconeogenesis, is produced only in the mitochondrion, but it cannot be transported directly to the cytosol where gluconeogenesis occurs for cells in which PepsiK is found only in the cytosol. Oxaloacetate must be converted to aspartate which is shown here by the root 1 in the red color or malate which is uh, another which is the red uh, 2 so it uh, it can be converted into aspartate or it can be converted into malate uh, before transporting it in root 1 oxaloacetate is converted to aspartate by aspartate amino transferase in the mitochondrion and aspartate is transported into the cytosol and converted back to the oxaloacetate and there it enters the glu gluconeogenetic pathway in root 2, oxaloacetate is converted to malate by malate dehydrogenase in the mitochondrion. Malate is transported to the cytosol and converted back to the oxaloacetate. There it enters the gluconeogenetic pathway. Alternatively, phosphoenol pyruvate can be transported directly across the inner mitochondrial membrane to enter gluconeogenesis.